Hello everyone, welcome back to another pick a card reading. Today we're going to be something a little bit different and I have some new card decks which I'm so so excited about. So I literally got these card decks today and I just want to pull them out and get started. Today we're going to be doing Will They Contact Me? So please use your intuition, take a deep breath and pick the group number one, two or three and let's get started and will they contact me? So group number one. So for group number one, you guys got Opalite. I love this crystal, it's so, so beautiful. So let's see what you guys got. You guys got protection and friendship. You also got healing family issues, keep an open mind, romantic feelings, and soulmate, wow, okay. And we also got temperance. So at the moment, as I say, at this, it kind of says itself in the title, as this reading is, will they contact me? But I definitely feel like you guys are on the verge of something, you're kind of in the middle of something, and it's like, will they contact me, will they not? I'm not too sure. Um, so first of all, you guys do have romantic feelings for each other, you do have a very, very lovely connection, there's friendship there. For protection, it says you and your loved ones and your possession are safe and protected by heaven. So. The angels and guides are trying to give you some messages. You may be getting messages through numbers, through signs and symbols, basically for what is being told for you. And with the temperance, it's almost like weighing up options. So you guys, I don't know, actually know if you guys actually want to be contacted. I'm not really too sure. I feel like this person could be a little bit unstable. They are still feeling their family issues, but for you guys for saying yes or no, I definitely think it could be a yes because it says keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations i feel like when it says an, keep an open mind it's like it's kind of i'm not sure i'm pretty much sure this is a yes though because it's got romantic feelings and soulmates so what it is is this is kind of the past and this is the future so we've got healing family issues and keeping an open mind this is kind of what's going on at the moment and this is what's kind of going to go on afterwards so we've got romantic feelings and soulmate i just want to see what's going to happen because i feel like this temperance is in the middle i'm just going to see what to clarify the romantic feelings and the soulmate so we've got the two of pentacles still weighing up options having balance nine of cups so i definitely feel like this could be a potential soulmate for you guys i feel like this is more of a soulmate than a twin flame if anything but this could be somebody who you're really going to get along with really, really well. And this person is still kind of healing their family issues. They're still figuring out what they want. But I definitely feel like that that you are on their mind for sure. You are 100% on their mind because they're thinking about protecting themselves. But they're also wanting that friendship, that relationship with you. So you could still be, you could actually be friends with them and you're thinking will they contact me as in like will they contact me and we'll be like together or will they contact me again so this could be also be a friendship this doesn't actually have to be a romantic relationship this could just be a partnership but yeah so 100 percent sure they will will contact you i'm just going to pull out one more card for you guys just to see what you need to hear so you guys got have faith your prayers are manifesting remain positive and follow your guidance that is a hundred percent what I'm feeling for this it's like you need to you have to have faith in the universe that the universe is doing this for you and they're almost like helping you to heal your family issues as well I feel like you could have family issues that you are still working on but I feel like you're essentially working on them now so it's not going to be too long until they will contact you and I'm feeling like it could be quite soon probably in the next maybe couple of weeks to a month they could contact you so be patient because all of this is in your favor and the emotions are going to come pouring in when they do. You could also contact them. I feel like there's an option to contact them. But you do what is right for you. And follow your intuition as to what you feel like you need to do. So yeah. 100% yes. I'm pretty sure this is a yes. And yeah. So thank you for watching. If this resonated with you and this was helpful. Please let me know in the comments down below. Please subscribe if you would like to. My name is The Crystal Girl. And... If you would like to book a private reading with me, they all the, inform all the information is down below. And I will see you very soon. Bye. Hello, group number two. So we're going to see, will they contact you? So let's get started with your reading. So the first card you got is rest, self-employment, and ace of swords. So there's definitely a message coming in just for this actual reading. The fact that you've got rest is 
telling me that you're in a state of rest at the moment and you need to make sure you're resting and meditating and looking after yourself and we've got self-employment you're a born entrepreneur and your business is surrounded by magical opportunities so also focus on your work and your business as well this might not be something you want to hear but it's it's t telling me deeply that you need to focus on yourself and this is going to help you to bring this person in as well so let's see what you have with the romance angels we have playfulness pay attention to red flags honeymoon and make the effort so we've basically got two opposing energies here we've got kind of the fact that we've got pay attention to red flags is kind of telling me that i don't feel like this person is a bad person but i feel like pay attention to the way they're acting with you um make sure that they're not somebody who will take you for granted um i feel like these piles I feel like this video is for people who almost know that the person is their soulmate or their twin flame but it's just almost just telling me that you need to just be careful and make sure you're making the right decision to put this person in your mind almost it's like just be careful keep focusing on yourself but apart from that we've got make the effort honeymoon and playfulness so there is a, a playfulness I think it's also as well with the red flags it's like there is something brewing in the background and I think this is something to do with maybe an argument that happened or an argument that may happen. I feel like it's something to do with their personality. Their personality might be a little bit toxic I'm feeling but I'm not sure if it's that, I don't know if toxic is the right word but it's something that you just might need to be careful of. I'm not actually sure what this sort of energy is but if you if you are understanding what i'm saying and this pay attention to the red flags might be applying to you then that's totally fine if it's not then it could be just for a few of you not for all of you as this is a general reading so take it as you will so we also have great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take so it's there is making the effort is also like you can make the effort to contact them or you could wait for them to contact you i definitely feel like they could contact you i'm just going to take one more card from the from the magical mermaids and dolphins oracle deck so you've got to consult an expert and break free wow these are amazing so this is basically i feel like you need to talk to somebody about your situation just to give a second opinion obviously you don't have to do this but if you feel like you're drawn to doing this and i feel like this is going to be a good decision for you to do this break free try different ventures and experience as a way to grow and learn so i feel like this person is going to break you free from this sort of energy that you're feeling this like kind of stuck energy also it could be it could actually be the opposite where it's break free from this situation but when i say break free from the situation it's not something negative it's something where you i think this is to do with resting so it's like keep focusing on yourself keep focusing on who you are and everything will just come into place and if you feel the need to say watch readings about this person or just kind of do what you feel like you need to do because as i say this is a general reading and it could apply differently for each different person i'm just going to pull another card from the rider weight tarot deck and we're just going to see what this ace of swords is about oh we've got the chariot this is amazing so this person is definitely coming towards you they could also be a cancer sign and we also have king of pentacles they could also be an aries i'm feeling someone who's very strong um someone who is almost hard-headed as well so they could have a bit of taurus energy in there as well i'm feeling maybe a little bit of scorpio too they've got that kind of like bite i feel like a bite energy like kind of like a little bit what's the word kind of like a little bit stubborn but they're definitely coming towards you they decided that they're going to come towards you the ace of swords is here to tell me that they are coming towards you so don't worry and just yeah do things that make you happy for now and everything is going to work out in your favor so definite yes for you guys so thank you so much for watching if it resonated with you and this helped you then please comment down below and let me know i'd love to hear from you and also if you'd like a private reading then you can see all the links down below in the description box please subscribe my name is the crystal girl give me a big thumbs up and i'll see you all very soon bye okay hello group number three so let's see will this person contact you we got rose quartz which i absolutely love i love rose quartz so let's see what you guys got you got empowerment blessed change and a new dawn wow there's a lot of new energy coming in for you this is beautiful i love this gorgeous energy is coming in love yourself first release your ex passion past life relationships so you guys could be actually dealing with a twin flame or a past life relationship or a soulmate i'm definitely feeling you guys could 
easily be dealing with a twin flame because there's something here that's very pure and very natural and we also have the magician and basically you have the world at your feet if that's the right word that's kind of the quote that got the world at your feet like your the world is your oyster almost so it's like you're you are really kind of going for it when it comes to creating this intense connection this connection i feel like is so intense this magician is telling me that what you're creating is very very positive and you've made the right decisions to let go and release your ex you could also be wanting to talk to your ex but i feel like they're saying release your ex so maybe you want to release them or I feel like, as I say, I don't judge anybody who wants to go back to their ex. So if this is your ex, then you do what you feel is right for you. But they've got a, there's a blessed change coming in. So somebody is going to be coming in for you who's really, really kind of good for you. So this person, if you're deciding will they contact you, it's definitely a yes. This empowerment that you've been doing, you've really been working on yourself. I can see you guys have gone through a lot of crap and you're basically not putting up for any crap anymore and this twin flame relationship is coming in really really strong just definitely because you've got a past life relationship you've known each other before as i say this could be a soulmate as well and it also could be a friendship if that's what you guys are looking for we also got the seven of pentacles and the three of wands so you are reaping the rewards and you are kind of almost this you're in this waiting energy at the moment there's definitely opportunities for you here and basically there's passion in this relationship as well and it's all just coming in really really nicely for you and the fact that we've got a new dawn is basically like the overall energy it says the worst is now behind you and positive new experiences are on the horizon so you guys i think i've got the best pile and I don't think there's actually any negatives in any of these piles. They're all a yes, but I feel like for definitely, you guys definitely have a yes. This person will contact you and it may take a little bit of time, but because this this connection is so concentrated and it's so good for you guys, I'm actually getting like my throat is like really kind of hurting. So I'm definitely feeling this earn, this this earn or this yearn yearning to like be with this person and to and to be in this relationship. It's like a really passionate, intense connection. And you two are just so meant for each other. I'm really feeling like, and I feel like you guys could be like mourning at the moment almost. It feels like part of you is almost missing or kind of, you feel like you need to come back to this energy and come back to this person. And I totally agree with you. Like this, this, this relationship feels so, so good. So if you chose this and this is resonating with you, then let me know down below. Um, I definitely feel like this is a really, really good connection for you guys. So thank you so, so much for watching. As I say, comment down below if this helped. And basically, you guys are going for a really good time at the moment. And it, has, it says, May, a major life change brings you great blessings. You're more powerful than you realise. It's safe for you to be powerful. So being your power. You, I feel like you guys are being really empowered and you guys are coming more into your power. So as I say, yeah, thank you for watching. If you'd like to, please subscribe to my channel. My name is The Crystal Girl. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, I would love that so, so much. Uh, all the links are down below in the description box. And if you'd like to, please comment down below. Let me know if this resonated with you. Give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you all very soon.